On the third of Sha'ban, four years after the Hijrah, the Holy Prophet receives news that his second grandson had been born. Overcome with joy, the Holy Prophet rushes to the house of Ali and Fatima to meet the newborn child. Asma bint Umais, who had helped Lady Fatima during labor, reports the following incident. She says, as soon as the Holy Prophet arrived, he turned to me and said, O oh Asma, where is my grandson? She said, I handed Hussein to the Holy Prophet, and Hussein was covered in a white piece of cloth. Rasulullah recites the Adhan in his right ear and the Iqam in his left, and then he holds Hussein in his lap, and the Holy Prophet began to weep. I asked the Holy Prophet, Ya Rasulullah, minna buka'uk. Ya Rasulullah, why are you weeping? Why are you crying? Why do I see tears in your eyes? This is a festive occasion. This is a joyous occasion. Why are you weeping? Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi taqtuluhu al-fi'atu al-baghiyatu min ba'di la analuhumullahu shafa'ati aw asma This Hussein one day will be killed by a rebellious people who will seek my intercession on the Day of Judgment. May Allah never grant them my intercession. Ya Asma, la tukhbiri Fatima bihada, fa innaha qaribatu ahdin bi wiladatihi. O Asma, do not inform Fatima of what will befall Hussein, because today she had given birth to him, and I don't want to bring sorrow to her on a day like this. As the days pass by, Fatima alayhi salam noticed that whenever the Holy Prophet would hold Hussein, tears would flow from his eyes. So she asks the Holy Prophet, Ya Rasulullah, why is it that every time you hold Hussein, I feel that you are overcome with grief and sorrow? The Holy Prophet reluctantly informs her of what is to befall Hussein in the future. And she bursts into tears and she asks, Ya Abati, mata yakunu dhalik? O my father, Ya Rasulullah, when will this happen to Hussein? قَالَ فِي زَمَانٍ خَالٍ مِنِّي وَمِنْكِ وَمِنْ عَلِي He will be martyred at a time when I have passed on, when you have passed and Ali has departed. قَالَتْ يَا أَبَتِي فَمَنْ يَبْكِي عَلَيْ وَمَنْ يَلْتَزِمْ بِإِقَامَةِ الْعَزَائِلَ O oh my father, if I am gone and you are gone and Ali is gone, who will mourn over Hussein? Who will grieve for him? Who will weep for him? فَقَالَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَآلِهِ يَا فَاطِمَ إِنَّ نِسَاءَ أُمَّتِي يَبْكُونَ عَلَى نِسَاءِ أَهْلِ بَيْتِي وَرِجَالُهُمْ يَبْكُونَ عَلَى رِجَالِ أَهْلِ بَيْتِي وَيُجَدِّدُونَ الْعَزَاءَ جِيلًا بَعْدَ جِيلٍ فِي كُلِّ سَنَةٍ O oh, Fatima, the women of my nation will grieve over the women of my Ahlul Bayt, and the men of my nation will mourn the men of my Ahlul Bayt. And every year and every generation they shall renew the sessions of mourning for Hussein. فَإِذَا كَانَ الْقِيَامَةَ تَشْفَعِينِ أَنْتِ لِلنِّسَاءِ وَأَنَا أَشْفَعُ لِلرِّجَالِ وَكُلٌّ مَنْ بَكَى مِنْهُمْ عَلَى مُصَابِ الْحُسَيْنِ أَخَذْنَا بِيَدِهِ وَأَدْخَلْنَاهُ الْجَنَّةِ And on the day of judgment, O Fatima, you shall intercede for the women, and I shall intercede for the men. And whomsoever wept and mourned for Hussein, we shall take them by the hands and escort them to the gates. of paradise وصلى الله على محمد وآله الطاهرين